Good morning. I'm in the garden and I'm going to finish planting some vegetables today. Maybe I get some hanging baskets done of all the flowers I bought. I like to buy annuals every year and they last all season, all summer, to keep them watered. And uh, I got to put them in my baskets and stuff. Lots of work out here. But today I'm going to go do some planting. I'm sitting way back. Bailey's catching bees. She, she eats them. And my thing up here has flowers on it, so there's all kinds of bees pollinating. And as long as they're not hornets, I don't want to get stung. I got stung out by the shed a few years ago, and those suckers don't stop. I got stung like 10, 20 times. It was a lot. It was painful. But anyway, I'm going to have a positive day today. I'm going to go plant, and then after I'm done, I'll walk around and show you what I did, and then I will add pictures at the end of the, what's blooming right now. There's my irises blooming, and a couple other. Mostly what's blooming is purple. It's funny that the perennials. I'm trying to brush um, Bailey today. Cause she's losing a lot of hair. She's um, shedding. And that's our German Shepherd. And the Golden Doodles don't shed. But I'm taking them for a haircut next week. Ginger for sure is Tuesday. And then um, George might be the next week. But Bailey just doesn't need to go to the groomer. She just needs to be brushed. So I was brushing her this morning. And I can see right now on the side I have to do that. She, she's like, doesn't look, she just looks at me like, what is that? I don't like that brush so much, but she just lets me do it. But okay, let's get gardening. Okay, this is what I got done today, and you can kind of see what's blooming too. We got some stuff blooming over there. I did those the other day. I did the two white ones there the other day. I did those ones today and that white one today. I filled these baskets the other day. That one looks horrible. The rest look good. And I got a little stuff going on. Got my paint dress on, you can see in the mirror. These are all seeded flowers that are coming, so that's good. I'm probably going to have to add some here. They don't seem to be coming in. These are strawberries and rhubarb. And over there is the flower I bought for our anniversary flower this year. This is called my anniversary garden. We have a lot of mint. And I got a milkweed I got to pull out over there. But I got more perennials put in there so as I put them in I'll dig out uh, mint and put in a plant. I gotta get my grandson to come over and help pull the grass out of here and the weeds so I can get that one next. And I planted some other stuff today. I'm gonna get my bag. Harley's place. Which I'll move those around sometime. I need to clip this all out. See there's flowers coming in. That might there look like Cosmos, I wrote it down so it probably is. Zinnias over there. But all that grass is coming back. I planted my pole beans over there. And the one that's all cleaned out. I planted peppers here, sweet bell. Put a couple of pansies in those containers. I put all these flowers in here. These are all annuals. I'm going to try to save seeds. See how that goes. And then... This, way. this is all my empty stuff. Anybody needs any? Okay, here is all my bell peppers. The different colored ones, except that one might be red or green. The rest are yellow, red, or purple. And then right there is a coneflower coming back. This is all perennials in here, and then my strawberries in the side, like that. And there's a couple blueberries back there. And I gotta start using that water again. Okay, and he's supposed to, he weed whacked that, but he's going to rototill it so I can put my zucchini and cucumbers and squash in that area. And yesterday I did all the tomato plants in between all the garlic. Looking at my tomatoes all the way down, candied tomatoes. Over here I try to put all the um, 
cherry tomatoes. There's a couple, I think there's two patio somewhere in there. And then I got all these ones. There's Sugar Baby or whatever right there. And then of course I did that the other day. Got to clean up that mess. Got a lot of rocks somebody, April gave me. One of my non-daughters, but she's a daughter. No blood. There we go. And then I got all this going at it. Just need to see if the radishes are ready. Um, I did, this is a giant garlic. You can see the difference between the other side, I think. And I put tomato plants all through here and all down there. My husband weed whacked it so I could actually walk through here. It's mainly grass and some flowers that I have tons of. So those would actually be dug up for next year. Or flags, irises, whatever people call them. All the way through there. Right there on this side, you can see the pole beans. There is peas all over. See, I gotta go in between the fence somehow and pull all those out. That is a flower. I can always dig it out and plant it somewhere else. He weed whacked over there. My grandson pulled a bunch of grass for me. So, because it's hard to weed whack around certain things. So that's, he's gonna come back and pick that all up. Kyle just weed whacked us. So there's areas, see he didn't pay attention because he got the irises. But I'm probably just gonna have him, they don't bloom pretty soon, I'm gonna have him mow this. Because the main thing I'm worried about is the fruit trees being good. We just did a circle around. There is purples all over in the garden blooming. I will have pictures at the end of this video. So this is my garden 2024. That's my hashtag. If anyone wants to put their garden in, they can just put my garden 2024 because it's your garden. And then that area. Lots of work, guys, but it is very enjoyable. You pray for me. I pray for you. Pray for the world. And everybody have a blessed day. Bye, guys.